Welcome back to our lesson on the forms of ownership. If you missed the previous video on how to choose the right form of ownership, please make sure that you check it out here. In this lesson, I'm just going to focus on the different forms of ownership, give a slight comparison of each, and delve into their characteristics, advantages, and disadvantages. So, let's get started. What does it mean to operate as a sole proprietor in South Africa? When it comes to naming your business, you have two options. You can use your own legal name, which is the simplest approach, or opt for a catchy business name. However, if you choose the latter, you'll need to trademark it with the CIPC to avoid infringing on existing trademarks. In terms of ownership, a sole proprietorship means just that. You're the sole owner. You're responsible for all decisions and entitled to all profits, with no partners or shareholders involved. When it comes to formation procedures, there's no formal registration required with the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission, CIPC, for a sole proprietorship. However, depending on your industry, you might need specific licenses or permits to operate legally. If you have employees, you'll also need to register them with the Department of Labor for Unemployment Insurance Fund and the Compensation Fund. As for the management structure, you're in charge of everything. There's no board of directors or complex hierarchy to navigate, which allows for quick decision-making but can become overwhelming as the business grows. In terms of capital, you're personally responsible for funding the business. This can come from your savings, loans, or income generated by the business. While this gives you complete control over how the capital is used, it also means you have unlimited liability. This means your personal assets could be at risk if the business can't meet its debts. When it comes to dividing profits, as the sole owner, all the business profits belong to you. However, you'll need to pay taxes on those profits, which must be reported on your personal income tax return. This means that your tax liability depends on your total income. Continuity is another aspect to consider. A sole proprietorship is generally tied to the owner's life. If you pass away or decide to close the business, it ceases to exist as there's no separate legal entity to carry on. One major disadvantage of a sole proprietorship is unlimited liability. Your personal assets could be seized to settle business debts, if necessary, which is a significant risk. In terms of capacity and capital, your ability to grow your business is directly tied to the capital you can access. While being the sole source of funding can make scaling up challenging, it also means you have full control over how profits are reinvested into growth. In summary, the advantages and disadvantages of a sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorships offer several advantages, including ease of formation, total control, and direct profits. Firstly, they are easy to establish, requiring minimal legal formalities and paperwork, making them accessible to individuals with limited resources or experience. Secondly, sole proprietors have complete autonomy over business operations, enabling quick decision-making without the need for consultation. Lastly, all profits belong solely to the owner, potentially leading to higher individual earnings. However, sole proprietorships also come with significant disadvantages. Firstly, owners face unlimited liability for business debts and obligations, risking personal assets if the business fails to meet financial obligations. Secondly, sole proprietors may struggle to raise capital compared to larger businesses, limiting growth opportunities. Lastly, running a business solo requires handling various tasks leading to potential burnout and limitations in specialized expertise. Let us now take a look at partnerships. Starting with naming conventions, 
Partnerships operate similarly to sole proprietorships, allowing the use of partners' full legal names or a unique business name, which may require the partners to trademark it with the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission to avoid the name being used by others. Partnerships involve two or more individuals coming together to run a business, sharing both profits and losses based on a predetermined agreement. Each partner contributes resources such as money, skills, or property. With a partnership, there is no need for formal registration with the CIPC, although a written partnership agreement is strongly recommended. This document outlines partner rights, responsibilities, profit-sharing ratios, dispute resolution mechanisms, and procedures for partner exits. Partnerships offer flexibility in management, allowing partners to jointly manage decisions or assign specific responsibilities. The partnership agreement should clearly define these roles. Partners contribute capital to the business, whether financial resources, property, or expertise. This pooling of resources allows for potentially greater capital access compared to sole proprietorships, facilitating larger scale operations. Profits are divided among partners according to the partnership agreement, typically based on factors like initial contributions, time commitment, or specialized skills. Just like sole proprietorships, Partnerships have no continuity of existence. If a partner passes on or leaves the partnership, a new partnership agreement must be drawn up. Partners bear unlimited liability, meaning personal assets could be used to settle business debts. As far as taxation is involved, partners must report their share of profits on all personal income tax returns. The capacity of a partnership to produce is tied to the combined capital contributions of partners, potentially allowing for greater production capacity compared to sole proprietorships. However, effective capital utilization hinges on partners' agreement on its allocation. Let's delve into the advantages and disadvantages of a partnership. Partnerships offer several advantages over sole proprietorships primarily in terms of shared responsibility, expertise, and access to capital. Firstly, partnerships allow for shared responsibility and expertise, enabling partners to divide tasks and decision-making based on their strengths, leading to more efficient operations. Secondly, partnerships often enjoy increased access to capital and resources due to multiple partners contributing financially making it easier to secure funds for various business needs. Additionally, partnerships offer shared risks and liabilities, with each partner bearing responsibility for the business's debts, providing some relief compared to sole proprietors. Partnerships also come with their share of disadvantages. Firstly, they can be prone to disagreements and conflicts, especially regarding decision-making and profit-sharing, which may disrupt operations or lead to partnership dissolution. Secondly, while profit-sharing can be advantageous, it may also lead to dissatisfaction among partners if they feel their contributions are unequal. Lastly, partners in a general partnership face unlimited liability for the business's debts, similar to sole proprietors, putting their personal assets at risk regardless of their level of involvement or investment. Thank you for joining us for this lesson. If you learned something, please give this video a like, share and subscribe.